Boom! What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name's Clint and today we've got another special one for you. This is the VanQuest Adax. Now, longtime viewers of the channel will know that I, last year, recommended this as my top EDC laptop backpack of 2023. So, eh, we'll roll around to a new list, see if it keeps the crown, but this isn't the one I reviewed. This is the Adax 18. I reviewed the Adax 25, 20 something, 20 something, 23, I, I can't remember. I can't be bothered. The larger one, there's two sizes. There's a small and a large. This is the small one. I have never used the small one until I got this one, had a chance to put it through its paces, learn more about it, figure out which of these Adaxes should you get. So this video is a couple of things. It is a walkthrough and review of the smaller Adax from VanQuest. It is a comparison video of the smaller and the larger Adax and a general discussion of this bag. All right, so you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. That means you're gonna get a full walkthrough of this bag. Exterior, interior, pockets, nooks, crannies, all the stuff, right? At the end of that walkthrough, you're gonna get two things that I love about the bag, two things that I think could be better, and then an overall discussion about who this might be the perfect bag for. Let's get into it, everybody. All right, so on the VanQuest Adax, and who is VanQuest? VanQuest is a bag maker and accessory maker that got its start in the concealed carry space, okay? So like Maxpedition and other brands that have kind of tactical and guns and ammo roots, yeah, roots, not roots like roads, roots like trees, okay. So they have their roots in that industry. So this bag series was a bit of a departure for them. And I've viewed quite, I've viewed, I've reviewed quite a few things from this series. The Dendrite, the Adax, the Carbide. So all kinds of bags from this series. They come usually in gray or a denim blue or black or multi-cam black. Multi-cam black, for my money, is the best of the colorways on these bags. This is the new look at Ax. What is new about it? Well, they moved the logo and they put a little hook and loop field on the front of the bag. Me, me. It's really it. They didn't change any of the configurations of the pockets. They didn't change anything with the interior or exterior. They didn't change anything with the features of the bag. They just put a hook and loop field on the front of it. Debatable as to whether that adds any value at all or if it even looks good. Um, and then they moved this logo up here. It was down here. Uh, also debatable about whether that was a positive development. All right, but let's get into it. Let's talk about this bag. Exterior wise, there's a couple of things that stand out right from the start. First off, it is a rectangle. It is a blocky backpack. I love that. I love a good blocky backpack. I think it's because, you know, my first backpack when I was a kid was a blocky backpack. And so that's what I associate with, you know, a bag a big rectangle, a big square, a big block. So, check. Stands up on its own. Check. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't have to have too much of a load to do that trick of standing up on its own. It is a heavy weight Cordura material in multicam black. You can see that the harness system is pretty beefy and built out. Um, it has some um, attachment points on the back. This one does not have a sternum strap. It does have really nice contoured and very well padded straps with strap keepers as well to minimize dangle. You can see that there are grab handles. Looks kind of like a luggage pass through, but I promise you there are smaller tiny grab handles to grab the bag by the side. Chuck it around, chuck it on your truck, grab it out of your truck, go to the range, etc. cetera. Uh, things that people with guns do, I'm not. Um, you know, more power to you if you are. Um, <clears throat> but I won't be discussing in this review, you know, how extra magazines fit into this. I, I just don't know. I'm not an expert, so I can't pretend to be. So I'll, I'll be talking about how I've used this bag, and I'll talk a little bit about some intention from the manufacturer, but I can't speak to experience about what gun fits where and mags and all that. It's just not me. So I'm sure there's plenty of channels you can get that from, but you will get a healthy walkthrough of this bag. All right, other things of note. You have a very, very nice grab handle on the top of the bag. 
You have AquaGuard zippers on the laptop and tech compartment, which we'll get into here in a little bit when we go to camera number two. And then you have the VanQuest poles. I think they call these Spartan poles. That might be another company. I can't remember. But anyway, they're really nice poles. They're, they're just some of my favorite. I love just hooking my finger in here and pulling. The laptop compartment and the main compartment and the admin section all have these extra loops on the zipper pulls that when you loop, when you pull them all the way together, they overlap and you could run a little lock through the hole. So uh, I'll show you that again up close when we get up close in camera number two. Uh, is there anything up front that we need to talk about that's not pockets? No, I guess the only other thing we can talk about up front that's not pockets is that's not pockets. There's no exterior water bottle pockets on this bag. That may be a deal breaker for some. And this is a uh, designed to be an EDC laptop office city carry. And so there is also no hydration port pass through. This is not the bag to get if you want to go kind of rucking or hiking or outdoorsy stuff. It's just not what this is for. This is an EDC city kind of covert laptop bag. Um, and it is really great at that. So. All right, I think it's time. I think it's time to show you the interior of this bag. You can see it is a gorgeous exterior, lots of functionality. And spoiler alert, my favorite admin panel of all admin panels in the entire universe. Let's get into this thing. Meet me at camera number two. As promised, here we are. Camera number two. Boom. And this is it. This is the VanQuest Adax. Very, very nice bag. All right, so you can see blocky shape. Here's what I wanted to show you about these zippers and how they come together in the zipper pulls. So the pulls themselves, very nice, easy zipper action. And when you link them up, you get this kind of hole that you can run a travel lock through. Very nice stuff, very considerate, especially since some of you may be carrying weapons in this backpack. So be safe. All right, what do we have going on here? So. Hook and loop, like I talked about, front pocket halfway, I guess it's a little more than halfway, five eighths of the way up the bag. Boom, and now you can see right off the bat, we've got an orange rip stop material on the interior of this bag. Love that high contrast interior. You've got a big drop pocket here, a big drop pocket with three magazine holders. Not magazines like you read, not the, the highlights and the Ranger Rick. This is for mags, magazines for guns. I do not carry guns, so for me, these mag holders are perfect size for cords and sunglasses, titanium sporks, you know, all the essentials. So really nice. On my larger size one, I went ahead and cut these elastic bands to give myself a little bit more stretchy, make the pockets bigger, and then I can slip even uh, large backup batteries into that lower section. All right, I teased it, but now it's time for y'all to see my favorite admin pocket in the entire industry. Are you ready? Look at this thing. It is gorgeous. So what do we have going on here? We have three rows, excuse me, there's a two rows of Molly attachment points here. One, two, three, four, five up top. And they're a little bit offset, you can see which allows you to kind of pin some things in place. But I've put in flashlight, thermometer, pin, knife. It's got a key leash that can hook to one of these D-rings. You can move that around the bag to another spot if you don't like it. Then behind that, wow, passport. This is a hidden pocket behind that, so very nice. And then up here, up front, you have a very nice protected zipper pouch right here. Looks really good. And then inside that, I've just got some EDC. This is the closest this bag comes to a quick access pouch, but it is behind two zippers, okay? Now you could, theoretically, just rip this open, toss some stuff down in here, and it's quick access for sure. But for me, you know, that's how I set it up is my EDC items in this little clear transparent rip stop section but i just i really just take a minute and appreciate how useful and usable this is it's not filled with pin loops and credit card things from the year 1982 this is filled with little stretchy elastic 
uh, spaces that you could loop anything you want into. You know, you could do whatever you wanted with that space. And it's just incredibly, insanely useful. So to the folks at VanQuest, good job. To everybody else, that's an admin section. That right there, that's an admin section. All right, let's look now, not at the main event, the main compartment, but at the tech sleeve. You can see it's a half zip on the back. It folds back and you've got a big drop pocket down here. Then you've got a little, it'll fit a full size iPad, 11 inch iPad without a keyboard or anything on it, without a thick case. I've tossed a Kindle in there. And then a nice laptop compartment that will hold smaller 15 inch laptops. This is a little 13 incher. You can see that this is hook and loop back here. If you wanted to add something hook and loop into the back, there is an elastic laptop strap down there. And then this is again, a big, large pocket down here. So a very, very nice laptop section. Now it's time for the main event, the main compartment. Again, not full clamshell, close, but no cigar. But look at this. I mean, y'all, this is cool. Okay, so what's going on in here? Let's do this front section first. So there's a poofy pocket on this side and I put in a gaming device but a really nice three-dimensional poofy pocket here that you can see into and see through. And then I just wanna point out this whole compartment is hook and loop compatible, the whole thing. So you can smack any kind of accessory or morale patch you want to. Then on the bottom, there are drink holders that snap into place when you're not using them and pull out when you want to use them as a pocket or as an internal drink holder. I love this design. Normally I'm not a huge fan of internal drink holders, but this design really works, really works. So you can see I've used this one for a drink holder and it's got a little elastic band to hold things in place. You can put a tripod in there. You can put anything you want to in there. And then when you're not using it, you can just snap it into place on the side here. Well, snap it into place on the side here. There we go. Come on, Lord. Boom, snap it into place on the side here, just as easy as that. <laughs> and then the back is, like I said, hook and loop compatible. So you can take these VanQuest pockets that VanQuest sells and just slap them in there. You can sell, you can use things from Alpha One Niner or Max Expedition. You can do morale patches. The whole entire interior of this bag is hook and loop compatible. Really, really nice. I just, I really like it. I really like it. Okay. That's the interior of the bag. Just, I love this thing. Y'all, let's head into camera number one again. Let's break this thing down. Let's talk about it. Awesome bag. Okay, like I said, this bag is really, really good at what it is, which is a, an EDC laptop backpack with customizable options and lots of great pockets and lots of great storage. Pretty fire, I love this bag. I loved my larger version and I think it's about time to pull that out and let's talk a little comparison. Here is my Adax 25 and you can see there is a fairly big difference between the two in terms of overall volume and size. Just letting you drink in the size difference here. But outside of size, there's literally no difference. It's the same exact layout, the same exact bag, but everything is scaled up slightly. The pockets are slightly bigger. The laptop section is slightly bigger. The admin panel is slightly bigger. Everything's slightly bigger, and you really do feel it. You really do feel it. So I'll show you a couple of things here. Open this up. Look how massive this laptop section is and you can get a 17 inch laptop into this sucker no problem also the tablet sleeve is up size too and i can get an 11 inch ipad with a magic keyboard into the tablet section so and then you've got this beautiful admin section which is just as beautiful just as gorgeous just as useful in this bag it's awesome absolutely awesome interior wise same thing 
everything is exactly the same, just bigger. Okay, so, and let's see if it's wider too. It's wider by about an inch. Most of the size difference comes from height, okay? So you're getting most of your extra liters from height, depth-wise, uh, again, about an inch, okay? So I'll show you what both of these bags look like on my back here in a little bit, but I also wanted to show you one more thing before we wrap up the walkthrough portion of this video and start talking about what we love. And that thing I wanted to show you, it's actually in this bag right now from C Tactical, but I wanted to show you something that VanQuest sells. This is the Fat Pack Organizer from VanQuest, and it is hook and loop backed on the entire back, and it's got the same zipper pulls as the Adex, and it's got the same see-through pockets as the Adex, and it is perfect. So if you buy yourself an Adex, and really everybody should have an Adex, toss one of those in the back section here, and you now all of a sudden, poof, have the most organized backpack in the entire universe. And you don't have to worry about your laptop fitting in here because you've got an external laptop. It's it's just really, really good when you slap that organizer inside of here. Now you can do something smaller like a couple of these pouches for sure, but man, do I love that organizer. It's just, it, it really is good. So I'll show it to you one more time. It's just a really, really great organizer. And it you can put a label on there if you want, but I carry my gimbal in one section. I carry um, headbands in another section for like sweatbands when I've got my head shaved. Um, and then I carry also um, cords and plugs in another one. But it is just, just such a great, great organizer. Yeah, and by the way, if you like this bag, uh, C Tactical CT15. I've got reviews on the channel of a lot of C Tactical bags, but that's for another day. All right. Wow. So great little bag. Let's talk about two things that I love about this bag. You know what one of them is already. The admin pocket is the dopest thing in the entire universe. So insanely useful. So nice. It is, I mean, it's not even close. This is my favorite admin pocket that exists in the industry. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. They nailed it. They don't nail it, by the way, on every bag from VanQuest, which is confusing, but on the Adax, they nailed the heck out of it. It is great. So this admin section, mwah, chef's kiss, great job VanQuest. It's insane. All right, the next thing that I really love about this bag is structure. So this bag, structure-wise, just makes sense. The main compartment is the right size, the laptop compartment, is not is really nice but not overbuilt. The pockets all are in the right places and the bag, for the most part, stands up on its own. It's got a little bit of this sway and lean and crease to it when it's not loaded all the way out. Um, but again, stands up on its own, great structure, nice blocky shape, looks cool as heck. Love the bag, love the bag. All right, two things that I don't love as much about this bag. Well, the first one is, um, and this is a, a dead simple one, these front pockets, I get it, right? Mag holders, I would have, instead of the three mag holder size things, I would have liked two, two subdivisions, one of which was zippered or hook and looped, so it was closable. Um, and you could still do one that's mag size if you want, but make the other one two thirds size, because I'd love to be able to toss like an EDC wallet into one of those sleeves. You can just drop it down into the main section, but yeah, uh, it, it's kind of purpose built inside there. And part of the joy of this bag is that it's not purpose built anywhere else. Like this pocket can be used for anything. You could strap a holster into this hook and loop if you wanted to, but you can strap pins or stethoscopes or whatever into there if you don't want to uh, be carrying or if you don't carry. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that this front pocket, this one is best in the industry. This one could have been better. And again, on my 25, I snip snipped all the elastic out to poof out the pockets and make it just a little bit more usable for myself. All right. Now, one other thing that I think could be better about this bag, I mean, honestly, I, there's not a ton. I guess the only thing that could be better about this bag is instead of two interior water bottle pockets, you could have gone with one interior and one exterior, 
one exterior water bottle pocket would have been appreciated. And instead of these really weird luggage pass through kind of grab handles on the side, you could have put a nicer grab handle on the side and really on the top too, because what I've done on this one is I've taken a handle cover from another bag and tossed it onto this because the handle is good, but not great. And so I went and cannibalized a uh, green room 136 handle cover for this bag uh, because I just didn't love the handles. Zipper pulls I love, the bag itself I really love, uh, the handle not so much. All right, so what, what about this bag overall? What about this bag? And the 18 or the 25, which is the better bag? Uh, for my money, and it is my money, I bought these bags. VanQuest did not give me these bags. I bought these bags and I love these bags. Uh, this is the one to get. The larger bag, it just feels nicer. It just feels a little bit more premium and it's silly, right? Because it's the same material. Um, yeah, oh, and I guess the uh, VanQuest logo was in the same place after all. Yeah, they should move it down here. VanQuest, move your logo down to the bottom right. Yeah, bottom right looking at the bag. And uh, lose the hook and loop. You don't need the hook and loop, it's silly. Yeah, all right. So, or do this entire top part as a hook and loop field. Like the Mountain, wear, Martin, mountain Hardware Talac. Talac? Talac. Um, yeah, you could do this whole top part as a hook and loop. Move your logo down here, that would be better. More purposeful, this looks like it's just tacked on. Okay, enough about that. So, I love this bag. I like this bag. It's so weird because it's the same dang bag, but sometimes size makes all the difference in terms of usability. This bag is so loaded with organization that it actually feels almost too tight inside the bag when you're fishing around in there between hook and loop pouches that are tacked onto the back wall, the two side water bottle pockets. You saw me even try and struggle in a little bit to snap that one up. The interior pockets, it just in this bag feels a little tight. In this bag, I've never felt that way. I've never felt that way at all, that this bag is too tight or constrictive, even with full loadout. So I love the ADX 25, one of my favorite backpacks of all time, forever on my wall and in use, part of the hard rotation for me. I just love the bag. The 18 is good. So who should get the 18? Very small framed individuals, okay? If this, is gonna look comically large on you. And again, I'll wear both these bags at the end of the video, then go with the smaller one. But outside of that, unless you just have a very small torso, get the larger one. It's a, for my money, it's just a much better bag. All right, that's it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Again, I cannot highly enough recommend this bag. I've used a lot of VanQuest bags and there's a ton of VanQuest reviews up on this channel. So, some of them are just okay looking at you carbide. Some of them are pretty dang good. Dendrite as an example. This one is next level. This is a great bag. It does not get enough love in the carry community, in the bag world. It just works. It's just like if you use this bag for a couple of weeks, you will totally get it. It's comfortable. It's usable. It's insanely well organized. And for a modern tech focused carry especially, it's just really good. You could carry a drone in here. You can carry your gimbal in here. You could carry a DSLR camera cube in here. You can carry literally anything you want in this bag. There's tons of space and tons of pockets for all kinds of batteries and cords and knickknacks and doohickeys and all the stuff that we carry with us these days. So great bag, VanQuest. It might be time for an update, but not a stupid little update where you put a little hook and loop field on it. Just a, a refreshing and what would that refreshing include for me? Some more modern materials. Like if this is the non-tactical version of your lineup, start looking at some more, mod, like a, an eco-pack or a, uh, an X-pack material for these bags would be really great. Keep, keep the interior layout, don't screw with it too much, um, and keep the colors and keep the zipper poles and some of the things that are on brand and trademark for you. Upgrade a couple of the material choices and upgrade your handles, etc. But man, what a great bag. VanQuest, nice job. You nailed it with the Adex. Everybody who has not tried an Adex, try and get yourself one. Um, try and get yourself one used. I'm selling this little guy over at theperfectbag.us because I'm keeping the large one, not the little one. But uh, 
check out VanQuest, check out you know the secondhand market if you just want to try it for a little bit. But man, look into this bag. I cannot more highly recommend the VanQuest 25 for an EDC laptop bag. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the review and walkthrough. And as always, I really appreciate the love and support, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.